happy Tuesday, and it's supposed to be a Wednesday. Well, I'll explain that in a little bit. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to Philly Philly. I'm doing some new content today, and we are exploring air frying wings. I've never done it. I have an air fryer. As I've mentioned for our previous streams, we used to have a, a more toaster oven style air fryer. Still didn't try wings there. Actually, I've never made wings at home. That's just something I always get out because they're yummy and they're fried and they're crispy. But I've heard on the internet from fellow um, food Twitter people that these air fried wings are awesome. So I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you know how it goes. So welcome. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, get started right away, is make the blue cheese dressing. Today I'm going traditional. So on this weeknight stream, um, it's going to be, you know, kind of a, with the air fry, it's going to be a quicker, a quicker recipe. And um, we're going to start with the blue cheese dressing. So my first foray in the air fried wings, I wanted to do the traditional, at least in the States here, the traditional is buffalo wings, um, originating in Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. And those are like the, definitely the first wings that I've ever had, but, um, and I love them. However, I will tell you, We've had many different wings um, because I feel like wings have always kind of had a moment and so many different restaurants and chefs have, have prepared them in different ways and I'm, honestly I'm all about it. I have loved almost every variation of a wing um, marinade and preparation um, that you can imagine. So if you're joining us here or joining me here, I'm, I'm solo today, um, if you're joining me here Please uh, make sure if you if you feel up to it, say hello in the chat. I'd love to know who's joining and welcome you. I appreciate you uh, deciding to stop in today while we're doing these air fried wings. So please let me know, by the way, if and even if you're watching this after the stream, what are your favorite things in the air fryer? Because honestly, one of the things that got me um, really interested in trying these wings myself in the air fryer was a YouTuber that I follow called, well his name is, um, I put it down below in the description, I think his name is Mike, but he's from Pro Home Cooks and um, not only does he have the, stage, the um, YouTube channel, but he also has a blog. And I was watching one of his, he's got great videos, great content, if you want to check him out. He does all sorts of food, um, traditional, viral, air fryer, regular, like all different kinds of things he does. And in any event, one of the things I noticed uh, during one of his streams, or not streams, yes, a stream, during one of his um, YouTube videos was he was trying all these different ways to prepare chicken wings. And then, um, so I was like, okay, that's what's going to help inspire me because he kind of did all the hard work. He kind of tried a bunch of different techniques and came up with a couple of favorites. So I included the link below so you could see, uh, check out that video yourself. Um, it's really interesting and it's interesting to hear the techniques and see what he thought when he tried them at home. And, um, but then recently I saw him do a video on his five favorite air fryer foods and one of them is wings. And I was so glad that I was already planning on doing these air fryer wings because honestly, I would never eat, I'll be honest, I would never eat chicken wings all the time because as delicious as they are, you know, I like the skin involved and they're a dark meat. So it's just a little, little fattier, especially if you're getting them fried. Out of the restaurant, it's not a healthy food whatsoever. Um, so it's def definitely just a sometimes food. But in the air fryer, it would no, I wouldn't make it an everyday food, but it definitely, I would feel more comfortable having it more often if I was doing an air fryer. And what I'm gonna do today, besides making the air fryer, is I'm going to be um, also having a salad with it. So when Cubs and I, for dinners, it's gonna be our dinner tonight, we're going to have these buffalo wings and a yummy salad with it. And so that helps balance it out a bit. So first I'm gonna make the blue cheese um, dressing. So there's a lot of blue cheese dressings out there. I was looking for something that is thicker because it's gonna be a dip. And so I think this one will uh, hopefully do the trick. And also I noticed, um, or not I noticed, but whenever you make a dressing by yourself or at home, you can add as much of the blue cheese as you like. And I like a lot of blue cheese in my dressing. So I'm gonna make sure and do that. First of all, I did wanna let you know what I did last night. So last night I prepared my wings for today. Let me get them. Because one of the things that I heard from his latest video, and this is where 
where it gets a little confusing because his latest video, which talked about his top five air fry um, foods, he did a slightly different technique with this than he'd done when he tested the different techniques for, for air fried wings. So one of the things he talked about doing was seasoning them and then putting them on a pan. Now, I wasn't doing a ton, this is just for Hubs and I. So um, I just used this actual cake pan. Um, it's, a it's a, I guess a 10 inch cake, nine inch cake pan. And, and then do use some sort of um, rack above it because you want them to sit and do a dry brine with the seasonings, but you also want to dry out. So you want some of that moisture to get pulled out and you also want that salt to soak in so that it can season your chicken. And what I did for my seasoning, this is where it really, you can put your spin on it. Since I was gonna get so much flavor from the buffalo sauce, I wanted my seasoning to be pretty simple. So I just did salt, pepper, um, and onion powder and garlic powder. So I kept it pretty simple. And I tossed it with it, I put it out in this rack. So this has been here since last night. So I'm just gonna let these sit out for a while because it's not gonna be too much longer before we get them in the air fryer. And meanwhile, I'm gonna get our dressing ready. So for the blue cheese dressing, by the way, the link is below. For the blue cheese dressing that I chose, it's going to go like this. It's gonna take a quarter cup of sour cream, Oh, first though, gotta have celery with your buffalo uh, wings. At least that's what I like to do. I love to have the celery dipped in the um, the dressing as much as I like my wings dipped in it. So I'm just I gotta have my celery sticks, and I'm just gonna cut them in half, and I'm just gonna set these aside. It is a gorgeous day here in Philly today. The perfect fall day. It's mid 70s, sunny, a little breeze, absolutely delightful. So I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but it was a stellar day today. My celery all set to go. I've already washed it and trimmed off the end, the ends. So the celery's ready to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make our dressing for the, the blue cheese dressing. So, and I'm kind of calling it a dip because I'd like it to be thicker. So for my blue cheese dressing, and I want to get my dressings put together now so they have a chance to develop some flavor. Ideally, you'd like it to, to fix this, you know, like an hour or two because it really helps develop, but this is just fine. It's going to taste good. So for this recipe, we're going to be combining equal parts. So we'll have a quarter cup of, and I use light mayo. Um, that's just how I roll. We just, we like light mayo, sure. Do I love full fat mayo? Of course. But I don't like the fat and calories in it, so we always get light mayo, so I'm gonna be real. That's what I'm using. And it's funny, I've gone lots of different ways with sour cream. I don't mind light sour cream, but I kind of decided as a rule of thumb that mostly I'm going to be using regular sour cream. Because number one, it doesn't, it does, it's not that bad. Like it's not like a regular, uh, whole fat mayo, but also I feel like, I don't know, I want that consistency and I do like the flavor of light and there's certain uses that I might use the light mayo, but for this one, I actually thought I'm just, I really do tend to just get regular anymore. So I'm going to put this equal amount, so a quarter cup of that. And I'm noticing, yay, we have music, but you know there's always music drama on my channel. So I'm also noticing that the same songs are going when I have probably 10 songs for to play. So let me take a quick peek and see what is happening with my music. This way. Let's see what's going on. Let's see here. So I see music. Huh. And it's strange because it's showing all these songs, but that is really weird. So let me try something here, friends. Okay, we're gonna try this. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try this anyway. Let's see if these songs will work better. So I did equal parts, a quarter cup of mayonnaise and a quarter cup of sour cream. Again, I used to like mayo. And to that, we're going to add two ounces of blue cheese. But what I'm going to do, because I like my dressing have lots of blue cheese in it, this is five ounces of blue cheese. I'm actually going to put um, half of this in. So I'm gonna put 
two and a half ounces. And you could even do more. But first of all, it's easier because I can just split this thing in half. And then I'm just going to crumble it. So I'm going to crumble it right here in this container. And then I'll add it. And if I want to add more, I'll add more. But we'll see how this seems. I love blue cheese. Back Oops. Mm. Oh my goodness. Salty, the, the little bite, creamy, absolutely delicious. Of course, when I was younger, I would have never even tried blue cheese dressing. I didn't even like, I remember I didn't even like the thought of what, what it meant to be blue cheese. Because to me, because it had quite a right smell, I just felt like there was something wrong with the cheese. Like it had gone too long and it had gone bad and I wanted no part of it. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave my fork here because I wanna actually smush that blue cheese into the dressing, into the dip, so I can really kind of get that flavor into this mixture because I really want that to, to be a part of it. I want that flavor to come through. Hi DS, thank you for joining us. We are making wings tonight in the air fryer and we're gonna be doing buffalo wings. But first I'm making the blue cheese dip. So I put equal amounts of mayo and sour cream. I put my blue cheese in. Now I'm gonna add some parsley. And my parsley plant is getting a little bit peaked. I mean, it's not terrible. It probably looks better to you, but you see those little brown spots? So I'm trying. Like it's just, it's, we, I mean, it survived the summer. So it has done well here in our, in our little abode, but um, it has seen better days. It just, it just has that look of like, I don't know, end of summer. Maybe I'm done. So I'm just gonna snip it in here. You can obviously chop it with a knife, but I find sometimes just snipping it with scissors is just easier. And I do not mind um, bigger pieces of parsley. Of course, if that bothers you, you can go ahead and chop it. Also, you could use, I prefer fresh, but you could also use dry parsley. I just think you get more flavor from fresh. And then next we're gonna put in some lemon juice. This is a super simple, recipe. So I'm just going to cut this lemon in half. And I think to the amounts that we're using, it, they recommended like a tablespoon. So I'm going to get that lemon over there and get my squeezer. Oh, there it is. And then we're just going to put a pinch of salt and pepper. So this was like a super simple recipe. What I liked about it was I felt like, I don't know, the star of the show here is the blue cheese. So I really wanted that to come through and I want it to be thick. Now, if you're using this for a salad dressing, it does say you could thin with milk, water, buttermilk would be lovely. I know, I'm with you. So I, so I have a new air fryer that we got, I don't know, I mean, it was this summer sometime. Oh, it was during, I think I actually bought it during the Amazon Prime days and I had a, I think it was a ninja, but it was, it flipped up, and when you flipped it down, it was this like uh, oven style. But what I found was, because my sister always raved about her air fryer, and she cooked everything in the air fryer. In fact, I gotta tell you, I think air fryers are great for everybody, but if you are, you know, living by yourself or just a, a couple, whether you're, you know, you know, you're newly living together or married or you're empty nesting. Um, it is great because I, it does, the biggest complaint with air fryers is that you can't get a lot in them, but I do have a workaround for that. I'll talk about that later. But I gotta say that it cooks so fast and it's, it, uses, it heats up our, our kitchen less. You cannot, you just can't um, rival the crisp factor. It's amazing how it grounds and crisps. And this one does. My other one was okay, but there was, it didn't really, you know, shrink in that space. And that's what makes the air fryer really special is when you get the ones that are, like that's the one we have that are more um, barrel designed. They are really able to give the crisp. What do you like to do in the air fryer, GS? What's your favorite food? Okay, so now I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in here, just to taste. And then I'm gonna taste it actually with some celery to see. Now there's cheese in there, so I haven't really need to put that much salt because this, the cheese is salty. I'm just gonna taste this to see how we are. This is so stinking thick. I am really excited. So let me just show you what it looks like so far. Look at that. In fact, I could tip it and it's not gonna come out, which to me is the best, the best dip for wings. 
I'm sure we all have different opinions about that. That's how I like it. So let me see. Oh. <laughs> Creamy, blue cheesy. I might just add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm trying to think, I think, let me just add a little bit more lemon juice. I might just add a little more lemon juice. I like bite. So it's funny, even in my salad dressings, I like bite in it. I was watching, and those of you that follow me know I love this show. I was watching The Kitchen this weekend, and they're talking about vinaigrettes and salad dressings. And I flipped it over so I'm not double dipping. That's better. It needed a little more. It needs more bite. Perfect. Okay. Just a little more pepper. Um, they're talking about salad dressings. I think it was GZ, and he was saying about how, you know, you get the standard ratios for vinaigrettes, and to me, they're too boring. Like, I like, I like a zippier vinaigrette. I want there to be no question that there's a vinegar in there. So again, when you make your own dressings, you can adjust that. So I rarely follow dressings per their, um, their recipes, just because I like it zippier. Now the one we're gonna make in just a minute, I, I take that back because that one I prefer to not be a zippy. But this is ready to go. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge so the flavors can melt and it'll be ready for our wings when it's time. In fact, you know what? I got this cute little thing to put in. I'm gonna get that all set to go so it's ready to go when the wings are ready. Get some of that blue cheese in there. There we go. All right, put both of these in the fridge for later. By the way, if you are joining me for the first time, I do cooking streams on the weekend, um, every weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. And then recently, I changed my content up. I used to mostly do cocktails during the week, but switching things up this winter a little bit. Once a month, I'm gonna be doing an air fry wings and then um, another Wednesday of the month, I'm gonna be doing like a weekday meal. And then the other Wednesday will be takeout, review, and then a cocktail. So it'll be a little bit different. So one of the things, cause I'm, I'm gonna be real thing. This is gonna be our dinner tonight. So I am making a salad. So for me with a spicy wing, like the buffalo wings, what I wanted to do for my, for my um, salad was make something on the sweeter side. So I'm gonna make a poppy seed dressing, and then um, we're gonna have just, I got some, I already put the lettuce together, some butter lettuce, some baby spinach, and then we're gonna put some apples, onions, and some walnuts. And that'll just be like a nice little salad, just to kind of balance the spice um, and the bite from, from the buffalo sauce. Ooh, so chicken. Oh, I would love to know how you prepare that. I would love to know how you prepare that. If you, if you want to share any of those, you know how to find me. All right, so for our dressing, I'm going to make a poppy seed dressing. So I just want, again, the flavors to get together. And I'm going to make my dressing um, in just a, a canning jar. And that way I can just shake it together. So for my poppy seed dressing, we are going to need a you know, a low flavor oil, so like canola oil, vegetable oil, grapeseed oil. We're gonna need poppy seeds. We're gonna need ground mustard. And we are also going to need um, red wine vinegar. So, oh, I don't know if y'all noticed, I have been complaining about my flour and sugar containers ever since I started streaming because they were horrible. And the new ones came in, so look at this. It is wide mouth, so easy for my measures to go in. If you're joining me the first time, you don't know what I'm talking about. You're like, what, what is this woman talking about? But then you look, you push, it comes out, you put it down, you push, and it seals it. How nice is that? And they can even stack. So I'm super excited. These are just OXO, I think. So I'll let you know how they, how they last, but very excited about that. Okay, let me just get a measuring spoon. So for our poppy seed dressing, we're just gonna fill right into here. That, um, oh, we're gonna put that, oh, that's over here. We're gonna need a half cup vegetable oil. And I am 
going to use um, some of this dressing for my lunches this week uh, for salads when I go to work. So I'm making extra. I do love a good pot of soup. So I'm doing a half cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. You could use another kind of vinegar. Could be, I mean, really, you could use any kind of vinegar. I'm just using red wine. Totally up to you. Yeah, and you know what's nice with the jar is you can shake it up to get it all together and then you've got a container for it because I'm going to use it the rest of this week. So that way I've got it good to go when I want to use it. Okay, now we just have a couple more things. We are going to be putting in here um, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of dried mustard, and a teaspoon of poppy seeds. So a quarter cup of sugar. And I can fit, look, I know this is the one that fits in the old ones, but I can fit a cup measure in here. Again, just super excited. There we go. So put a quarter cup of sugar in there. These are the best. I'm very excited about these. Look how easy that is. Just close it, stack it. Super easy. Um, so we did a quarter cup of sugar, teaspoon of dried mustard, get that, and then a teaspoon of poppy seeds. You know what? I'm gonna get the poppy seeds in first. Well, it was a funny with the poppy seeds. I all of a sudden had this panic attack about, you know. By the way, I'm sorry for starting late. I'll talk about that in a second. But I had this panic panic attack um, because I couldn't find my poppy seeds. And you know when you have something, but for whatever reason, you're just you just can't find it. And then I almost feel like your brain like makes it be like makes you not see it, right? Um, but I did have them and I found them. So all as well that as well, right? And I'm gonna get. Teaspoon of dried mustard. Oh my, it went in so much easier. It must be different. There we go. And that's it. And then we're going to shake it up and put it in the fridge for later. There we go. Make sure I have it on tight. Shake it. I always feel like I need to do it with the sink. Just in case, right? I mean, it is a candy jar, just in case. So see, it's a pretty, it's like a rose color because we use the red wine vinegar. And there it is, all set to go. And you know what? Hmm, I guess it's not, oh, this doesn't seem like it has enough poppy seeds, but I guess it's fine. Well, we'll taste it. And, um, and it didn't have any salt, oh, it does have salt. So I was like, I, I'm like, why are we putting salt in this? I just didn't see it. I think it was just salt to taste. So I'll put a pinch. And you know I'm gonna put a little a few more poppy seeds in there. Just because I can't get those in. There we go. Just didn't look poppy seed enough. Yes, definitely, you're right. You're exactly right, TS. Definitely spray with oil. In fact, so that's what's interesting. So the one thing that I I again I love, I was talking about the um YouTuber that I like his content so much called Pro Home Cooks, and I believe his first name is Mike. And I was mentioning the fact that um, you know I, I got inspired when he went through all these different methods of air frying wings, and I thought, you know what? Like I want to try that. I want to do that. Anyways, um, when I saw him do a more recent one that has to do with uh, his five favorite air fryer foods, you know, to air fry. He did his wings a little bit different. So because it was really easy breezy, I'm gonna try it that way, but I'm a little, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. But you know what, this is how we figure things out. And sometimes, and I'm sure I do this too, sometimes I think as cooks, we can be inconsistent with the messages we're giving out to our friends, our family, whoever we're sharing our recipes with. And I think there was just a little inconsistency there because he talks about the other video, but like, in his original video, the one I was going to do, he coated it with flour, and this, these he did it. So, and they looked delicious when he did it, so I'm just going to go with it and see. Um, the other thing I might do is, because I'm going to do mine in two batches just so they have plenty of air, because when you're doing something in the air fryer, you want to make sure there's plenty of, of air around it. And then I keep my stuff warm in the microwave. 
just it insulates it so it really helps keep things warm and you can always when they're you can always like when they're done just give them a blast of heat in the air fryer before you toss it with the sauce so but i'm not going to do it with the flour for the first batch and i think the second batch i'll do the flour and then we'll see like what you like better um but i did he really talked about the brining ahead of time so that will help make the crispier skin because i'm on team crispy skin i there's one thing i don't like about chicken wing and that is a soggy chicken wing in fact, there's certain places that you can actually say I want them served dry, meaning I want it tossed in that sauce, but I don't want it sitting in the sauce. And that's a personal thing, like other people might like things sitting in the sauce, but for me, not so much. So I'm gonna get my air fryer preheated. I know as an air fryer person, that's something that's really important, but I've gotta tell you, he doesn't mention that in his video either. And I put the question um, on his comments, but this is like a pretty big, big channel and I just hadn't heard back yet. So I, you know, I'll let you know once I find out, but I just know in my heart that usually it's really important to preheat unless your recipe is specified, do not preheat because that's worked into the time. Um, oh, thank you. Tell your wife, thank you very much. That's, that's very kind, very kind. I just need, I need like y'all around more so that <laughs> these compliments are very kind. Okay, so we got our dressings done and they are gathering flavor. And I took out my chicken wings. And I do think that I, because so when I think about my air fryer, I feel like I'm going to put six in the first batch and four in the next batch. I know that technically I could, if, if it was just up and I could probably put them all in. I'm just worried that they're not going to crisp up as nice. And I want to do it right because I really. I really want these to be yummy. So my air fryer is heating up. I've got my celery ready. Oh, I want to show you what I'm doing for the salad. So the salad, I have a mix of um, like butter, lettuce, and baby spinach. And so once these go in the oven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the apple sliced and the onion sliced and kind of get the rest of the stuff on the salad here. One of the things I did when we got the air, this air fryer is, especially because it's got a nonstick surface, I know it's really important that I don't use any of the sprays that have those, um, I don't know what they have in it, but they have in stuff that can get stuck on your nonstick and they can kind of burn your nonstick. So I bought these, actually just got these on Amazon, Evo oil sprayer, and it does a pretty good job. And I have one for, extra virgin olive oil and I have one for grapeseed oil. So I'm going to use the grapeseed oil one because I don't want like, this isn't for flavoring. I just want it to help crisp it. So that's what we'll be using. Oh yes, Shelby. Shelby, uh, you going to come say hi, Girly? Yes, Shelby likes to make her appearances. I'm sure when things start smelling good, she will definitely be here. Last night when I was getting this chicken ready, she came around and she knew I had raw meat out of it and she smelled that right away. The other thing we're going to be doing once those go in is we're going to get the sauce ready. There we go, get that on. So let me see, it sounds like it's almost ready. I'm going to go ahead and bring it over and like I said, these last four I am going to toss in flour just to see if it makes a difference because he didn't really specify on here. I knew we did toss them in flour, so I want to kind of check that out. So I have, I'm going to turn on my little camera. Let me get it ready. One second. Okay, we got the camera ready. Oops. There we go. Let's at least see how that does. One second. Oh, just see plant. We don't need a plant there. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, that should be a pretty good view of the air fryer. Let's see once we open it. All right, so I'm going to open the air fryer. I'm going to spray the bottom and then I'm going to spray the tops. Now, for his last 
last recipe, what he had said, let me check that again, was 400 for eight minutes. So we're gonna try this batch at that. It doesn't seem like enough time for me, and I'll explain how it's different than the other ones, but we're gonna give it a go. Oh goodness. Nervous fingers. There we go. And we're going to shake it. We're going to check it in four minutes. All right. So those are going to go for eight minutes. Meanwhile, oh, let me tell you about what was well, very interesting. So again, he did this with a more recent video where he did it 400 for eight minutes. But his video that I originally got inspired to do these um, chicken wings, he did it at 380 for 15 minutes. So I'm a little curious like the difference. So I think what I'm going to do is for the flour, I'm going to actually do that for the original way, which was um, 380, 15 minutes. So we're going to try it. We're just going to try and see. And meanwhile, I am going to get these tossed in some flour. So these are ready to go. Take them off the rack. We'll dust them with a little flour. Go. By the way, for anyone that watched the, um, yes, I know you're watching the Hungarian apple pie stream this weekend. This, um, my, my mom and I were just talking today, and these, um, the pan I cooked it in and this cake pan are, my mom got like at her shower, so these are like 59 years, no, yeah, 59 years old, I think she said. So anyways, I just thought it was a fun fact, I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to get some flour. Not that you have to, but I'm actually going to use my one drop just because it won't cake. You don't have to do that. I'm just going to toss this. Take the extra. Put it in. Hey, Archie! Thanks for joining. Making making buffalo wings. So we're gonna kind of make it two ways from the spell that I follow on YouTube. The first batch are already in, and the set they didn't have flour on them. The second batch are lightly dusted in flour, and these are also gonna get a little bit different cook time. So we've made our our, our blue cheese dip, we've made our dressing um, for our salad, because I'm gonna have a poppy seed salad next to it because, and you are the salad maker, by the way, Archie. It's hard to live up to you. But I'm going to be making a salad with some baby and spinach lettuce, some baby some butter lettuce and some baby spinach lettuce. And in there, I'm going to put, I've already washed this, I'm going to put um, some apple. This is one of our favorite kinds of apples, honey crisp. So we're going to get some apple in there. I love a lot of As you guys know, if you've been watching me, I like to veg up stuff. So I'm going to put it in a nice amount. I'm just going to slice it. I love some apple slices. I was just mentioning, Archie, how beautiful a day it was here, and I know it was a beautiful day where you are, too. Gotta love, gotta love those gorgeous fall days. But you're starving, but you should have already had dinner. Didn't you already have, what did you have for dinner today? We're having wings and salad, but what did you have? And DS, what are you having for dinner? What are you guys making? Just sliced up. More. For Todd, oh, you know what? I'm telling you, it's funny. When, when you think about things you couldn't live without, I could not live without eggs. And you know that about me. I love eggs. So frittata sounds absolutely delightful, and you make lovely frittatas. I'm just going to get a little bit of onion. I don't want a lot of onion. I, just wanna, I always like the contrast of, of flavors. So you get some sweet, some bite, um, and especially with the sweeter dressing, I just I want to make sure that we have some to the wrap. And then we got salty with some black walnuts. All right, let's check this out and see. See how they look so far? Oh, they're getting something. But can you see that? Let me see. You can see it a little bit. I'll tip it. 
Oh my god, they smell so good. So I'm gonna flip them, because I do know flipping is always a good idea in the air fryer. I'm gonna flip these. Now they say shake, and I know my sister's, the one she has, you can shake, but this one actually, I've read, because um, I really love this, but I've read from the, um, there's like a Facebook group, and with this one, they say if you shake, the, the handle's gonna break off, so I've not, I've not used it to shake. All right, so I've got some sliced honey crisp apples above my greens. I'm gonna put some walnuts there. Looks good. I have my poppy seed dressing, and I'm gonna thinly slice these onions. I don't want a big hunk. I want them nicely, thinly sliced. Okay, a little contrast. Now, if I wasn't having my blue cheese dressing um, with my wings, I might put like a I put a funkier cheese in there, either something like blue or gorgonzola, or um, something less funky like feta would be nice. There we go. That should work. Our dressing's ready to go. I'm just going to put a little salt and pepper on this. It's good to season everything. I'm going to pop it back in the fridge so it stays cold. And that cold salad will be a great contrast to our hot wings. And I will have to tell you, after looking at those things, I do not know how they're going to be all cooked in eight minutes. But we shall see. We'll see what they look like. All right, so while we're waiting, we're going to get our buffalo sauce ready. So our buffalo sauce is super easy. If we're going traditional for a buffalo sauce, you're just using a pepper sauce. I want to go totally original. Like to me, when I think of just a regular buffalo sauce, I think of Frank's. So Frank's Red Hot, and you'll do equal parts, hot sauce and butter. You'll uh, melt them together. And then sometimes it's, you know, it can just be, have a little too much twang, and I love a good twang. But I'm gonna put just a touch of honey in there just to kind of round everything out. I'm not looking for a sweet and spicy sauce, but I just want to kind of round out all the flavors. Salmon salad. Oh, I love salmon salad, DS. That sounds amazing. Oh, yes, Shelby. Shelby is a rescue. She is a mix of many wonderful things. She, um, we think she is loud. We think she actually has her Rhodesian Ridgeback, which sounds a little like, you know, that's not a, a dog many people know much about. But we do think that she has a little bit of this. When you see her, when you see pictures of Rhodesians, she kind of looks like that a little bit. Not so much now as an old lady, but when she was younger. So I'm gonna get my sauce ready. I'm just gonna do it here on my pan. You could do it in a little saucepan. Um, I know a lot of the professional chefs, look, they have these big you know, stainless steel bowls and they'll put the wings there, the sauce, and they do the shaking thing. Well, I don't have any such bowls like that. So I thought for me, why don't I make the sauce in my fry pan and I can toss it around in that and hopefully that will do the trick. So I'm gonna get a quarter cup of butter melted, and to that, that, I don't want that to burn, so I'm gonna turn that down, and to that I'm going to add a quarter cup, we rinse this out, of hot sauce. Yeah. But yeah, Shelby's a rescue. She's our second rescue, and she is a, she is a great old girl. We love her in pieces. Ooh, you had feta. With, and now, did you you made your own hot sauce, right, Arch? Is, didn't you make it on your own? I feel like I saw that with one of your. Let me get this so quarter cup. And one of your tweets. Yep, there we go, quarter cup. All right, we're going to check out our wings. I'm going to add my hot sauce. All my goodness out. Together, and I just put a little touch of honey, just like just like a drop. Again, I'm not looking to make the hot and spicy or the um, sweet and spicy. I will do that maybe on one of my future ones. But this one, I really want traditional. But sometimes I've had some buffalo wing sauces that I don't know how to describe it, but they just twang too much, and so I don't like to twang too much. Let me see. Wow, these look beautiful. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not sure. 
I'm worried that they're not going to be done. I'm just being honest. I think these. Hmm, I think these need a few more minutes. So I'm going to give them another little spritz, and I'm going to give them a few more minutes. Go back to that temperature, which was 400, and um, let's try. I'm gonna try four minutes. That's my gut. My gut tells me that's the magic number because if at 380 it was done in 15, I feel like at 400 it might be 12. I don't know. That's my quick math. So. But they do smell good and they look really good. They actually look really juicy. And I do think Hops and I are going to burn our mouth when we eat them um, because they, they are hot. Ooh, cayenne from your garden. You have the best garden. I definitely have garden envy with you, Arch. That is for sure. I really, I mean, I have my little herb garden, but that's nothing to the garden that you have out there. That's So it's funny because after moving from the suburbs to the city, I miss seeing a garden, but I will say I I don't, I don't necessarily miss taking care of a garden. Is that awful? But yours makes me want a garden. I just know how much upkeep that is. I know that's a lot of upkeep. Yes, it's very cool. All right, so these are waiting to go in. Here's our hot sauce. We can put this here. I've got my plate ready to go. We've got our sauce. You can see that. Our sauce is coming together. I can give that a little taste. We are going to be in business soon. All right. I can't wait. So coming up this weekend is, is one I was just telling my mom about. I am so excited. So this weekend on Sunday, my son and I are going to be streaming together, and we're, I'm showing him how to make pasta. Now, I have not made homemade pasta. I've made homemade gnocchi, but not like pasta pasta in a long time. I have a pasta, um, you know, pasta machine, not the electric kind, like the crank kind. Um, and I, I was very infatuated with pasta. That was like my, probably the first fancy meal I made uh, that my neighbor helped me with when I was a teenager. And she was wonderful helping me and inspired me to do pasta that it was approachable and easy and all that good stuff. And, but it's been a while, it's been a hot minute because I feel like once the kids were born, I, I kind of was like, oh my gosh, I, I have two boys that are running in separate directions everywhere all the time. I have no time to make homemade pasta, we're buying pasta. Um, and so, and then now, I don't know, what's my excuse now? So I don't have one, but I want to, I want to teach my son how to do it. And, and honestly, if he loves it and he wants to take my pasta machine or at least use it when he wants, absolutely. He lives, lives in the city, um, not too far away, so he's welcome to that pasta. And we are making a carbonara sauce. So that is Sunday, 3 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be fun, and I can't wait to do the stream with them. They are, I agree. So the truth, DS, one of my favorite hacks is to bring home like a rotisserie chicken and just have like so much meat there that I can use to make chicken salad to make, um, you could make uh, chicken enchiladas, you could make chicken soup, like you could just sit there and, and do a quick hack of getting a yummy chicken soup together. Like it just, it's a wonderful way to have yummy chicken. And when I, but I do feel that since I thought of the idea and I brought that chicken home, I start by eating both wings because to me, like, you can't, oh, like what are you going to take from the wing to add to your chicken meat that I pull off the bone? So I feel like they're my, they're my prize, they're my reward. But I do love good wing. Okay, we're almost ready. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see. How are we doing time? Oh, it's six o'clock. Almost dinner time. And I see the steam coming from my my uh, air fryer there. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if we're in business. Okay. Oh, now these look much better. Those look so much more brown. Those look very nice. All right, all right. So friends, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm going to right now get them tossed in the sauce and then I'm going to put them to warm 
because I'm realizing that these new ones I'm going to do, there's no way I'm going to be able to taste them without absolutely burning myself. So they're going to need to sit a second. So I'm going to put these in here. And these are going to go in at the 380 for 15 minutes. I'm going to spray them. There we go with that grape seed oil. I'm going to them once. So let's see how this goes. Um, 80. Oh, it is our 15 minutes, so we're good. And I want to shake. There we go. Good to go. Okay, so now these, meanwhile, I'm going to toss in the sauce. I can turn off the sauce because the sauce has gotten super hot. And just do a little, show you. I'm just going to do a little tossage in coatage. But you know me, I do not like mine to get soggy, so I'm going to be actually, when these are hanging out in the microwave to stay warm. I'm going to put them on a rack so they will stay crispy. So let me get another one of my racks here. Lovely. It's my time to use all my dishes so that you need to actually run the dishwasher because, whoops, that didn't really work. There we go. That'll work better. So we're going to put these on a rack so they don't get soggy. I hate a soggy wing. And these will stay warm. Taste them. Okay. So these are going to go in to stay warm. Okay. So, meanwhile, I'm going to toss my salad. I can take this, I can put this away. Put that there. Okay. It's over here. I can taste my sauce. Oh, that sauce is good. Yeah, and see, you don't taste the honey, but it just kind of, I don't know, it just it just kind of softens it ever so slightly. All right, so I've got my, I'm gonna actually take out my blue cheese dip so it's ready to go. And I'm gonna find my poppy seed dressing. Oh, the sugar kind of settled. Go. So we got our homemade poppy seed dressing. Toss my salad with that. I do not like to overdress a salad. I do not like a soggy salad. And I also um, know that I've got very tender lettuce here with the baby spinach and with the kind of butter lettuce. So I'm just going to drizzle some around the edges and then toss and see if I need any more. Drum roll, please. Yes, well, this is first the salad part. Let's see how the salad does. Okay. Nice. Oh, it smells really good. All right, this looks delicious. Let me taste the salad. I'm gonna put that on a little plate. Pork. All right, here. So let me see. Apple. Get some walnuts. I don't think it's nutty enough. I need. I should have put more nuts in there. I'm not enough, but I don't want my salad's not enough. There we go. Okay, let's get a good bite. Spinach, the perfect salad bite, as Katie Lee would say. Salads are probably the hardest thing to eat on TV, or on not TV, on, on video. exactly what I was looking for. I wanted that bite of onion to balance the sweetness. That'll be perfect with our buffalo wings. So what I'm going to do now, these have had a chance to cool a second, I'm going to bring a buffalo wing and my, bring my dad and he's going to do this. I'm going to put my buffalo wing on here. Okay, I'm going to do drum it. Try drum it. Now you might like yours to sit in sauce. 
there's the little wing I'm going to try. Ooh, it has nice spice. I have a lot of good spice. Feeling pretty hot. Okay, so I'm going to dip. I don't know which side I'm going to dip. I'm going to dip that side. Cheese. chicken is so tender. It is perfectly cooked and because I did that dry brine it's juicy because sometimes I've had a dry wing you know that's kind of juicy. I mean it's kind of like dry like it's crispy but there's really no like there's no moist part at all. I'm like I don't I, I don't even know if I can shit. Like it is it's just glistening in there. It is it is not dry at all. That's delicious. If I'm being honest I might let it go a little longer, even if it has to be in a slower heat. I would like it to be a little crisper. I wasn't lying when I said that it was a really crispy way. But I want it all. I want it to be crispy, and I want it to be juicy. I kind of want the world of them. But for how, like, remember this I did not, this I did not put, um, I didn't put flour on it. I didn't do anything. All I did was the night before I tossed it in seasonings, let it dry in the fridge, and then popped it in there. Like, how easy is that? So to get a yummy wing, you know, for football, for football day, football game, that is awesome. I'm very pleased with that. I'm excited to try the ones that have the flour and see how they are. I'm going to check them out right now, actually. I'm flipping because it's almost time. And I'm going to also... Um, spray them again. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. And I love the kick of the buffalo sauce. There is nothing like that with that heat in the back and the vinegar, but the butter helps make it rich. Yeah, they are really finger licking good. It's awesome. Very yum. Oh, so you press start. Oh dear. There we go. Huh. So I'm anxious to see how the other ones come out, but, but that was really good. And the salad is tasty with it. Mm. So, well, I have to move on. I've, I've been thinking about my other um, air fried wing flavors. I know one month, I know one month I need to do um, I'm going to need to do garlic parm because that's my son's favorite. Um, but I know my older son and wife, they also like like the the hot and honey. So I'm probably going to do one that's hot and honey. But do you have any other, any other suggestions for flavors? So I was kind of thinking of uh, Asian. Hershey. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, so Hubs is, is giving me some directions in the background. Um, so he just got home. So, yes, I did a dry dry, which means last night I just took my wings and I tossed them in salt. And you could really do any seasoning, but since I was doing it with buffalo wing sauce, I didn't want my seasoning to be too much, meaning I didn't want, like, you know, usually if I do a seasoning, I might be adding a lot of chili powder, all that kind of stuff, but with the buffalo wing, I kind of wanted this wing sauce to speak. So I tossed it with salt pepper, and then also onion powder, garlic powder. And then I put it on a rack to dry. Like, so on this thing, I put a rack and they were drying, so there was air circulation, and then the skin could dry down. So that's what was recommended by the guy from Rogue Home Cooks. So that was the method that I chose. Now, the, in his first video, the one that originally inspired me, he also tried a couple methods. One, he tossed them in cornstarch, one he tossed them in flour, one, he did a double dip and um, put breadcrumbs on, and another one, he did a twice fry. And then he ranks them, he shows like all his scores at the end. And the cornstarch one, which I know is super popular, I hear a lot of people talking about that, but um, he actually didn't, I think he tasted it a little bit and just wasn't like a huge fan of that. Um, but so when I look at his ratings, the two, like the top one, one of the top ones is just the flour, just a flour toss. 
But on the one he showed with his dry rind, he did do a flower toss, so I was a little confused. The other one was the triple dip into breadcrumbs because he really liked the extra crisp factor. But for me, I'm not a, I don't care for a big breading on my wings personally. I like my wings to kind of be crispy and speak for themselves. So I did not elect to do that. But it's really interesting watching that video. I have the video links below, the one that shows his five favorite air fry foods and the one that shows um, testing out all the different methods he's seen about uh, air frying wings. But yes, if you guys have any ideas for sauces, I was thinking like some sort of spicy, spicy Asian kind of sauce. Um, I mean, you could go a couple ways. You can go to Thai spices. You could go to Szechuan. So there's a couple different things you can do. Um, but I know I've got to do garlic farm because that, and I need to find a good recipe for that. So I need to try some different things out because we've gone places. That's his favorite. And sometimes they're okay. And other times they're really good. So I need to figure that out. So I'm getting close. I'm going to finish my wing here before it gets cold. My other ones are staying warm. Mm. Mm. I will have to say, another wing that Hudson and I really liked a ton, there was a place called Anthony's Coal Fire Kitchen, um, or oven. It's a pizza place, and they made these in a um, like a stone fire oven where they cook their pizzas. They made these wings that were just rosemary, olive oil, and there probably was some garlic. They were super simple. They were freaking fabulous. They were one of my favorite wings. And super easy. Lots of great ideas. I know, I was wondering about curry too. Oh, honey chipotle would be yummy. That's for sure. Mm. These are so good. I just feel a little guilty like going to town on this with being on camera. So I might have to finish that off later off camera. All right, so these look like they have four minutes left. We're getting down to the end time. It's about time every once in a while. So like right there, one of the um, spices from the sauce hit the back and it does have some kick. And of course, if you want less kick in your buffalo sauce, you can just add more butter. I mean, that's as easy as that. If you like more kick, you add more sauce. But that to me is that perfect heat on the sauce. Um, salad dressing was great. Hmm. Salad spot out. I'm, gonna, I'm going to fix a little plate for hubs of the salad so we can not be watching me eat. Let me go grab that. It's a shame though because while I'm making dinner, Hubs made himself a quick little cocktail and didn't make me anything. Although actually the only thing I would want to drink with wings is beer. To me, beer, beer is like the best counterpoint to wings, hot wings. In fact, you know what? I'm going to see what we have here in the fridge. Let's see. Ooh, perfect. One of my favorite beers. As you all know, if you've watched me, I'm not a big hoppy person or or the, I forget what the other ones are called. I don't even know beer stuff very much. I like a light beer. This is one of my favorites, Peroni. Peroni is such a crisp beer. I mean, it's perfect with something like wings, and it's actually my favorite beer to have with pizza. I think it's the best beer with pizza bar enough. Outstanding. Ooh, that's a great idea, and we can dip it in that amazing sauce, right? That green sauce that is so stinking good. The guru, that's a great idea. Also, um, and you know, I think, was it you or DS that talked about curry? Um, oh, you like the peronis too. Yes, love peronis. But um, I was thinking even with the curry, like something more even on the tandoori side, like a, a tandoori wing, make it spicy and then have some sort of, I never say this right, but like a, a, re, a reita, R-A-I-T-A, that would be cooling, you know, that has like that yogurt um, and maybe some, 
or it could be a tzatziki sauce too, but like something that just helps cool it um, that you can dunk it in. That would be really good with that. Lots of good ideas. I think we should just do wings every month. 12 months of wings and find and try all different flavors. I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to give up the air fried wings. I just think this is a great idea. I'm going to make a, a playlist of all air fried wings. Yes. I, wait. I, the hard cider, right? So I think, so I'm fussy with hard cider. I think that's what you're talking about, DS, right? I like hard cider, but I don't like a sweet hard cider. I don't remember if Angry Orchards was one that was sweet. I do remember, um, I remember we finally came upon a brand that had it that was crisper and not so sweet, but for the life of me, I can't remember what that brand was. And I even think there's a beer that we drink, and it was the beer that we drank that actually had a decent, was it Stella? Did Stella come out? There was a beer that we drank that came out with a nice light version. Was them? Stella. Stella, I think, had a nice version of a hard cider that just wasn't so sweet. I'm just, as you can kind of see, like I, as much as I have a sweet tooth, I also, on other things, it becomes too much. All right, let's take a look. Let's see how these are. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Can you tell, like, those are really brown. I don't know. I'm thinking that this method might be preferable. So I'm going to get them dumped. I don't know. These, these look... These look pretty good. Let's get them tossed. Yeah. I'm realizing my music is still playing the same stinking song again and again. I mean, like, it's done a couple of maybe it's done four songs, and I have, like, literally a list of ten. The, the music is what is eluding me on the streaming stuff, I gotta tell you. Because, you know, you gotta make sure, I'm gonna try, what do they call these, the, the flats? I'm gonna try the flat. Oh, I need to take this off because I want to take this off. My little flat there. Remember the first time you had uh, Pry? Was it at um, the restaurant before the game? Was it down there in South Philly? It was. Yeah, what was the place called? You don't remember? I forget. I'm forgetting. I'm blanking. So there's this place that before we went to, was it a Flyers game or was it a Sixers Flyers game? game? That um, it's just a little Philly joy. Has just good pizza. Like it's not like it's. That's it's got great pizza. It's got great pizza, but what I'm saying is it's not like a certain style. It's just great pizza celebrate. and celebrates. Celebrate. But that's where I have my first peroni. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to um, remember myself. So I actually want to first try it without dunking because um, I just want to get the feel of the skin. Wow. Okay. It was so tender. I'm telling you, the dry brine is, is what, where it's at. Dry brine. Oh, it's hot. Um, I still, I, I'm, you know, when you, so my husband and I like to get home fries before we go off for breakfast. And sometimes, what do we say? We get an extra crispy or extra dark or whatever. I like my wings extra crispy. So the only thing, even with that way, I might still have it go. I might flip it one more time and have it go just two more minutes just to crisp it up even more. It's crispy, don't get me wrong. But that just shows the crispy snootiness I have. So now I'm gonna dip it. But these are outstanding. They're so easy. I think I would do the flour. And it's not wrong not doing the flour, but I like just a little bit of something, something you get with the flour. Mm -mm. That blue cheese dressing is everything. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. So easy. So easy. So, okay. I did it two ways. I dry grind everything. Don't not dry grind. I'm telling you, that is. That is, it, it imparts the flavor, it helps the skin crisp, though the skin dry out more and help with crisping. The flour, no flour, I don't know, it's minimal. But if I thought about it, I'd flour them, just because it adds a little bit more texture to the skin, but the ones without flour weren't bad by any stretch. 
Um, they were very good. It just, it just the flour just added a little more texture. And then the sauce is so perfect. It's never wrong. The half butter, half equal parts butter and hot sauce. I just think that little bit of honey just helps round it out a little bit. It does not taste sweet. Do not, do not at me. Um, and then of course, I don't like them sink, sitting in it because then they get too soggy. So I would not let them sit in it. I would put them fresh on the plate. Try this, these are delicious. And the, sa the salad with the apples and poppy seed was a great accompaniment. So let me know if you try these recipes. Let me know your favorite way to um, have wings or what kind of wings you wanna see me do in the air fryer because I might do that for future content. And honestly, I think I'm gonna stick with wings 12 months. I'm gonna do 12 months of wings, see what we come up with, see what our favorites are. Maybe we'll figure out after 12 months what the top um, five favorites are from the wings. But Archie and DS, it was wonderful chatting with you. And um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It's always wonderful to, to converse during the stream and try these recipes, let me know. And DS, you and your wife definitely have to try um, the air fried wings. And Archie, you need an air fryer. So if you need any um, help with decision making, just message me and we can chat about certain brands and stuff. So everyone else have a lovely evening. Enjoy your dinner and until we eat again, so long.